Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday night. It is the Earthmaster here on this end. About 11.50, uh, 7.57, excuse me, p.m. in the uh, California time zone. July 13, 2024. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D globe. Shows a 1.9. Also, some movement up here off the Vancouver Island ranges again with a 4.6 earthquake coming in. All this earthquake coming in about the time as we get a large major X flare from 3738. That's the one I've been saying to keep an eye on. Just got an X flare coming in right now. It looks like it has peaked out here at an X1. Let's see what we got. A 1.2 it looks like for the uh, maximum observed X-ray flare class here. As you can see, this is the X-ray for the X class, M flare, C flare, and so on. Pretty decent X flare coming in as you also we can see here on the D region absorption map indicating some uh, radio blackouts being observed mainly across the Asia area and uh, down through uh, Philippines and into the Indonesia Islands region right there where the Sun is centered over the most uh, uncertain though on if this thing produced any type of CME activity although it's definitely a beautiful stunning event taking place right now uh, we'll definitely watch that keep an eye on that Again, 3738 is this uh, massive sunspot region. It's been growing growing quite rapidly here, shooting off numerous low-grade M flares and finally decided to shoot off a pretty decent X flare here from 3738. And that's about the only spot that I've been saying all along that poses any major threat uh, for some solar flaring. And sure enough, there it is. I don't think we're done yet. We'll continue to watch that, though, through the evening. There's numerous M flares here over the last 24 hours being reported from that sunspot. All right, uh, looking at the uh, earthquake activity, we got an earthquake up here off the Vancouver Island range again, 1925. So this came in about oh about half an hour or so ago, my time. 4.6 out here in the same region that uh, we've been watching here over the last couple weeks or so. Seen a decent swarm, including a 6.4 event that kicked off here a couple days ago. Uh, still uncertain on if this is going to increase any major percentage in terms of the Cascadia eruption out here or Cascadia, um, not an eruption, but uh, earthquake. Got to remember this uh, divergent activity up here does add further strain up here against the Cascadia. Uh, so far, we haven't really seen any major signs, no major increasing movement or earthquakes up here aside from what's going on out here with all this activity. Let me get a total tally here real quick and bring up the correct number that we've seen here in the last couple weeks 24 earthquakes and i'm sure there's a little bit more out here uh, than these magnitudes uh, surprisingly they added a 1.9 in there as well but i guarantee you you know for every five there's going to be a certain amount of twos and ones and smaller microquakes so this is just what they're putting out here to the public uh, but i guarantee you there's probably a lot more earthquake activity that struck out here than what's shown up here on the map but 6.4 is the largest so far in the sequence with the latest earthquake, a 4.6 coming in within the last hour. Uh, one earthquake up here around the Scotts Mills, Oregon area. Really just uh, around the Waldo Hills mountain ranges up here, the Cascades. Nothing big, just a little 2.1 from earlier this afternoon. The rest of the map here, as you can see, very spotty. Uh, not really see anything major going on here. South America does have a uh, quite a bit of uptick going on here. It seems to be that way over the past couple days. Uh, New Zealand down there seeing a little bit of activity stirring up. Underneath the North Island again, a couple earthquakes being reported here in the three range. Nothing major going on there for now. And, um, you know, for the most part, it does still look, it looks like most of the activity wants to adjust out here across the eastern areas of the Pacific Plate and adjacent plates here. The Cocos Plate, the Nazca Plate, all uh, roughly about the Middle America Trench southward into the Peru-Chile Trench, uh, all quite active. As you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of clustering going on out here all against these areas today. And uh, California, Southern California, seeing a little spotty activity. We did see a three-pointer earlier this afternoon. Uh, just off the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault. 
near the uh, Ukaipa area, 3.2, 17 kilometers deep for that quake, and a handful of other smaller quakes out here throughout the afternoon as well. So increasing movement uh, is definitely happening out, happening out here in the last few hours of Southern California. We'll continue to watch that, right? Most of the activity right now seems to be happening out here across this area of the Eastern Pacific, uh, portions of the Eastern areas of the Pacific Plate and adjacent plates. Uh, the Hawaii area, stand by for a second here. Make sure I put my phone there on mute. Someone call me while I'm doing an update. Uh, yeah, and that's my ringtone, the EBS sound. Pretty crazy, huh? It really, tri it, when I'm in the store or something like that, uh, it, it gets people's uh, attention. Most people don't have a emergency broadcast alert as their ringtone, but hey, I sure do. Uh, earthquake activity mainly up around the upper east rift zone once again. No major sign of any major eruption here or any type of imminent eruption. As we look at the uh, latest map here on the deformation data, we'll check that real quick. Uh, for the Kilauea Volcano. And we'll run over here to the uh, deformation data and see what's going on. Going up, pretty sharp rise actually. Uh, over the last two days, remember last night about this time we we're looking at this little period of up and down, uncertain onto where it was going to go. Well, it looks like we're going back up in terms of the inflation. So watch for some further earthquake activity. Um, And hold on one second here. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I had a, actually a super important phone call I had to take. I handed it off to Missy Mimi's real quick. I uh, didn't want to stop the stream or stop the update. So I went ahead and uh, handed it over to Missy Mimi's real quick. Uh, so anyway, yeah, watching the earthquake activity out here across the Big Island of Hawaii. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, most of the activity definitely kicking up out here across these areas. Uh, Yellowstone National Park up here. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity in the last few hours. There was a handful up here earlier this morning and looks like late last night as well around the Purple Mountain, Madison River area, but generally just a couple small earthquakes in that region. So, all right, folks, I'm gonna jump off here um, again keep an eye on the flaring activity definitely got a lot stirring up out here with some X flare activity I don't think it has produced a CME yet um, but we'll take a look at some different models tomorrow and see if we got any earth directed plasma that may be headed our way far as enhancing the auroras over the next couple nights in the meantime have yourself a good night stay safe out there a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world but we try to stick to uh, earthquakes and physical science events out here on the channel. Stay safe, and uh, we'll catch you guys back out here sometime tomorrow, unless something major happens here overnight. Stay safe.